So now we've taken you through a full cycle of leadership, team building, brand building, people building, and now we're talk we're getting into the aspects of attracting business and actually marketing yourself. So our next speaker, um, I, I was recommended to him, and I called him up and I said, I'm doing this conference, and I would love if you brought your advertising, branding, marketing skills to the stage. And his first thing that he tells me, he goes, have you looked me up? Are you really sure you want me up there? Because I'm fucking off the wall. And then I, I shut up for a few minutes, and then I was like, yeah, now I really want you on the stage, right? So this guy's awesome. His name's Michael Tamzo. He runs a company called Tams. And his company is, uh, they're about thinking higher, creating cool, and branding yourself appropriate. If we can give a round of applause to Mike Tams, thank you. It's not playing, so I'm gonna skip it. How was lunch? You guys must be sleepy, huh? I got a bottle of black, so this is how I start my shit. <laughs> Who want a shot? Anybody? Huh? Who wants? Hands up. Oh, shit. Okay, pass it around. Start it from this table. Super. That's how we do. Salute. That's for you, David. Dave, we should get more liquor. Then everybody will be pumped. Anyway, so I'm on stage. Believe it or not, it's fucking crazy. Hold on. Let's do a selfie. What's up, people? Real talk. Thank you, David. Still not playing. OK. Where should I start? David approached me and asked me if I want to do this. I said, sure, I'm going to do it. And then he, this is to discuss something to do with the panel and social media, right? And then a week, two weeks after, he asked me if I want to speak. I was like, fucking really? I got all these people want to hear me out? And he said, yeah, sure. And one line of his email is just one word. It's not ura or whatever he's always saying. His line literally say dope. So I was like, fuck, I like that, right? And I made my own shirt, which is protect you in the dope. So this talk. It will be about dope. Oh, yes. Can I get an audio, please? I'm watching, too. No one can create cool bullshit. Consider the current business environment. Information has exploded. Today, technology is embraced at an intimate level. From mindless selfies to multi-level communication options, the level of noise is both deafening and celebrated. You must break through now more than ever. With survival of the fastest, brands must adapt or die. We breathe the same air as your traditional agencies. We reject the tired band-aid solutions that temporarily fixes a brand's problem. We embrace our true rebel nature, disrupting the old ways by leveraging technology and strategically injecting cool into your brand's DNA. To follow trends is just that, to follow. While others chase, we create cool. Talk about this, but when you talk about destruction, carrying <laughs> 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 So, 
Now, that's what we do. We do dope shit, right? <laughs> we work with developers, we work with brands and whatever. Um, we own a creative agency, I own a creative agency in Miami headquarter. We have an office in Vegas, had an office in New York, then the real estate bullshit happened in 2008. That shit went tank, fuck it. But we're still here, right? Um, dope. So I'm really going to talk about dope. For me, dope, I want to break it down with the first letter, which is D. That is the dream. That is the determination. That is the desire, right? Um, diligent, whatever it is. Um, not a dick. Um, so, at 16 years old, I had a, it's like a dream, right? I want to be the greatest designer ever. That, I wrote it down on a paper. It's like a manifesto thing, right? So, from then, I was determined that I want to be the best in this shit. It's in Indonesia. So, one year later, I told my mom, I said, Ma, I'm out. There's nothing for me here, right? A bunch of coconuts, beaches, and that's it. So, solo on my motorcycle. I got three of them. I'm dope shit, too. I got my plane ticket. I said, Ma, I'm leaving. She said, all right. So, left Indonesia to America for that American dream shit, right? Getting here was the easy part. I mean, get on a plane, become America, and this shit is not a fucking goal, like in the Oz movie, you know, when you Oz, the street is painted in gold. No, I came here with two suitcases and a blanket and a dream and determination to make it um, at 17 and a half. I left mom, I left my girl, whatever. Long story short, I end up at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. Do my thing, go to school for graphic design, hustle in between, do airbrushing on a t-shirt, um, airbrushing on whatever I can, right? And go to Borders bookstore before they went bankrupt, and learn, read, whatever. Finish the school, got my bachelor degree in three years. I'm fucking faster than everybody else, right? Everybody used four years, four years and a half. I banged that shit out in three, right? Um, so, because I'm determined, like I'm hungry, I'm determined. I need to eat. Nobody's gonna feed me. So I'm determined to graduate early, graduate with the best portfolio, so that go back to my original thing that I wrote down on a piece of paper, that I wanna be the best. So got my best portfolio, awesome, got my fucking hat on, my mom's proud, amazing. Graduate, come, cost my, a company that I really wanna work for, which is EDSA, I don't know if you guys know, it's in Fort Lauderdale, their headquarter. Um, I came as a junior designer, then worked my way up to art director and creative director, and work on Kirsten's project, the Atlantis. I did their Ocean Club branding. I work on a lot of projects in China. Um, they are amazing landscape architect and planners and everything else. Uh, I did, did the entire Fort Lauderdale um, boardwalk I branded Riverwalk back then, which is awesome, before it became a ghost town. Um, so that was my seven years serving and eating and really learn how to work with, with different people and within different industry and whatever. And seven and a half years later, I finally got my green card. Yo, that feeling when you get your green card, who got their green card? You find, you find, you find, one of your motherfuckers must be hiding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trump be sending all your fuckers home. So, you must be hiding. Come on. So, 
I got my green card. That was awesome, right? Um, then I went down to HR. I went down to HR, Miss Eden, I love her. She's amazing. Um, I said, Miss Eden, I quit. I'm done. I served you seven and a half years. I did all the best that I can, but I want more, right? So, well, you can't go because you are amazing. We are a great company, 240 people, Asia, da 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 I said, I got to quit. It's in, inside me, right? I'm determined. I said, yo, I'm, I'm done. Fuck this. And she said, why? If I don't quit now, if I don't jump off in this big-ass ocean that I don't know what, I will regret it for the rest of my life. At least if I jump, I will learn to swim, right? So that blessed me. I end up left, that's when time established, which is 2000. Uh, and then, because I served them well, three months after, they become my first client, which is amazing. So that goes for the O in dope, which is, for me, is the over delivery, is over of everything, is doing more stuff that you can't do, so now we're going to start talking about the old part of my life. I left, I built TAMS, but also another big O is that life is fucking hard, right? From the comfort level, I got my two weeks checks, nine to five, life is fucking good. I'm basic like a motherfucker, like everybody else. Now I jump, I'm like here, right? So I'm here, my wife from Indonesia, she got cancer, and she's like 28 or something, right? She got cancer, and in June, I got a call from my mom that my dad died. Yo, dad died, come home. I jumped on that plane, put my father in the grave, came back three days after because I got a grind. Because there's no more check to check to check, right? So I'm going to come back and make that money. And to support my wife and my kid, which is a newborn. Um, came back two days later. In two and a half weeks, I put my wife in the grave. So I got a double slap right here, right? My dad is dead, bam. Wifey is dead, bam. And I'm building TAMS from zero. You know what I'm saying? So. I was like, fuck, how the hell am I gonna do this? This is the over, right? You gotta go over, you gotta have that drive, you gotta over deliver, you gotta like, that shit really plays a part for the O. Um, I'm grinding, I'm working, building brand, da 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 da. I'm changing diapers, I was a single dad. I'm, I'm like the best. I could change diaper with my eyes closed and shit, you know? So, so. I'm changing diapers, I'm working, feed her. I'm sorry to my daughter, I feed her a lot of fucking Doritos. But that's beside the point. Um, so that's the O, right? O. Now, because of that, the drive, the over deliver, the wanting to do more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that leads to the P on the dope. For me, P stands for passion. If you don't love what you do, better get the fuck out of here. There's no reason to be here, right? You got to love what you do. So, time was growing. I love what I do. I love my daughter. That's how it is, right? But that passion for the P, right, just continue to grow. So, that's how I met with David Grumman. This is before live. This is before anything else. So, me and Dave revolutionized this email marketing shit. Because before, email marketing was just a basic email with a graphics and finish, and that's it. In 2002 or something, I managed to, to, because of my hunger and determination to be the best, 
I play around with technology and whatever, whatever, and just make dope shit. So we did an email blast. I animated. I changed the game. New York got noticed. Vegas got noticed. This is all nightlife people. So now I'm in that spotlight. From that phase in my life, the nightlife industry called me the golden child because I like change the fucking game. And I have no hair, so it matches. I don't eat leaves, but it matches. Um, so that email marketing with a spin-off before the video even started, before video, before Facebook, this is still early, changed the game. <coughs> From that one piece alone and that nightlife leads to my first project with David Martin, which is the owner of Terra Group. This is for his 900 building in downtown. He trying to push it and make noise for the buyers in the Hampton. So we developed some dope shit. Um, Noah Tepperberg and Jason Strauss from the Tower Group connected dots. We had a Bridgehampton Polo Club, and and it was just something different in the real estate world, right? Now, from that one piece, it become another. It just continues. So I started developing website, um, graphic design, brochure, etc., and so on. It's everything that is creative. This is all passion I'm talking about. Forget 14 hour days, I'm 20 hour days, right? Because I'm, I'm passionate, I'm driven. But also in a way, it's like where should I run to? I'm here in this fucking country by myself, I've got a fucking daughter, so I really run to my work. But that work is my passion, so it really feed me. I feed to making dope shit, I'm, I'm, I feed through creating. Now, at 30, I'm, I'm 30 years old then, I'm old now, whatever, um, made my first million dollars doing dope shit, doing what the shit I fucking love, right? Oh shit, I made it, life is great, amazing, doing whatever. Again, same bullshit, shit happened. Now my mom died. Right? Mom's dead. I said, fuck. And then from mom died, 2009 happened. Got to shut down New York office. Shit. Another one, right? So, and then lose client, win client, um, employee come in, employee quit. Like all that fucking, all of these bullshit just happened. Now, with the dope for determination, the dream, with the all for being overly producing, being doing more, etc., and then pass. It got you here, but without E for energy, you nothing will separate you, right? You gotta have that drive. You gotta have that hunger. Seventeen years is a long fucking time, and I'm still thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I need that black back. Where is it? Must be gone, whatever, enjoy it. So, now, um, thank God I'm still standing. Uh, th that energy bring me to this table. That energy connect me with David. That energy connect me with my amazing fucking team. So I think that for you guys here, and, and whatever you do, whether it's your family, whether it's your relationship, whether your business, whether you start pushing dollars, drugs on the corner, whatever the fuck it is, you got to have that energy at the end of the day. That will set you apart. That will push you to that edge that, and will separate you from everybody else. You got to have that, that really energy. You get up in the fucking morning and just kill it. You go to sleep dreaming about it. Just be immersed in whatever it is that you do. I think that is my closing for, for today, is for all you guys to really find your inner dope. Thank you. I need my black back. <laughs>